Hello! Since we're in a new year now, I wanted to make a video about all my favorite books from last year. Another video that I meant to put up last year, but didn't. <laughs> so I had about like, I don't know, about 27 books that I were my favorite last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say them and like show a picture or hold it up if I have it. So um, last year I read the remaining books um, that I had left in the Anne of Green Gables series which were Anne of Windy Poplars, Anne's House of Dreams, Anne of Ingleside, Rainbow Valley, and Rilla of Ingleside, which were books 4 to 8. So I finished that series and I really liked it. Um, and then after that I started um, the other series by Alan Montgomery, even though I'm sure she has lots of them, um, Emily of New Moon. So I read all three um, Emily of New Moon books, Emily of New Moon, Emily Climbs, and Emily's Quest. And I like those a lot too. I think I still like Anne better, but like they're you know very similar like stories. Um, and then I finished reading the six I think. Yeah, six Jane Austen books. My so I read Persuasion, which was the last one I had left to read, and I liked it a lot. Again, very similar stories. <laughs> compared to like uh, like Emma or Mansfield Park or they're all, they're all very similar so what's there not to like I don't know and then another series that I finished this year is the Wizard of Oz series I read I read books 8 to 15 which were um, I'm just gonna hold it up and represent it by this one uh, TikTok of Oz, Scarecrow of Oz, Rinky Tink of Oz, Lost Princess of Oz, The uh, Tin Woodman of Oz Magic of Oz, Glinda of Oz, and the last one, which is the Royal Book of Oz, which is actually written by um, Ruth Plumley Thompson. But it also felt very similar to the other one. So I finished that series as well. Um, and then I reread The Paris Wife by Paula McLean. I still liked it a lot. This is probably my favorite like historical fiction book. Uh, and then I also reread The Other Bolin Girl by Philippa Gregory, which I also liked a lot. And the next one is Echoes in the Wall by V.C. Andrews. I love the dramatic stories that she tells, or told, or her ghostwriter tells. Um, and then I reread An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, which I still liked a lot. And then I read the second book in the um, Kingdom of the Wicked series, I think it's called. Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco, which I like a lot, and I definitely want to read the third one. I don't remember what it's called, but I want to read it. And then I finished another series. I finished the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. I read books two and three, which I'll represent by this one. So I read Pandemonium, and then I read the third one, Requiem, which I thought they were all very good. And I'm definitely glad I finished this series, because, I mean, I started this way back in... When this book come out? <laughs> like 2012. <laughs> um, and then I reread The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton and I still liked it a lot. Um, and then for Halloween I read There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins which I liked a lot. And I still want to watch <laughs> that movie too which I haven't. <laughs> Um, and then I started another series, which I'm super excited to finish too. Um, I started the Inheritance Games series, which I'm just going to hold up this book here. Well, I have the second one as well, the Hawth Hawthorne Legacy, but I thought it was really good. Can't read to read the last one, which I don't remember what it's called. The Final Gambit, that's what it's called. And then my last favorite book was also a reread, which is Girl with a Pearl Earring by Teresa Chevalier, and I still liked it a lot. So those are my favorite books from last year. Let me know what your favorite books were that you read last year, and I'll see you in the next one.